Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody posted this on Facebook, and they were saying the arrow was fine, and you can't change his line colors. Uh, and this is very easily, I mean, he acts like this arrow part is a font. So I'm going to just show them how to reproduce this, or at least the arrow part. Let's hit P, put that in the center of the page, because I wanted it roughly the same size. I'm going to hold down the control button and drag out a ellipse, and then I'm going to put it P and put it in the center page, and then I'm going to have it grow. So we're roughly the same size, because I like drawing in the center of the page, and you're finding out why right now makes life a little easier to draw in the center of the page. We're going to take two two-point lines, and I'm going to hit P, put it at the center of the page. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate, and I'm going to rotate that one 90 degrees. Now, as you can see, we've got our line started. I do not need this part or this part. We're going to take this line right here and move it to that corner, and we'll set our nudge factor on point Two five, which is a quarter of an inch. And I nudged it over with the arrow keys, control D and make a duplicate, holding down the control button to get to that node and then moving the left arrow key. And you can see what my result is. I've got that little part of the, um, and then delete this and delete this, and then take your lines away and you've got those parts. Now we can select both these and I'm using CMYK because I opened up somebody else's file. We're going to make it black in 400 points. And you can see I'm, now my little dashes could be a little bit longer. Now go up to effect and break the curve apart. Now these lines are individual. Right here, when you click on the line, you've got your line tool, your thickness here, which we could change at this point. But if you click on this, you get an arrow. Click on that one use the same arrow. Now in this scenario, his arrows might be a little smaller, might be a little bigger, but they do have an arrow shaped on the inside. Very easily done. Let's select it all, go up to object and convert it to an object. Then the shape tool is gonna to come into effect. It's kind of welded it all together. We could just grab these two and let's nudge them a quarter of an inch and see what happens. Well, nothing happens. Let's try. Whoop. Sometimes when you double click, there we go. Now you have an arrow shape and you can make it as steep of arrow or as little of arrow as you want. There's my nudge factor. That's what it was. A quarter inch is too much. Let's put it back to where it was even and change our nudge factor to Point one, let's say, grab the shape tool again, grab those two nodes and just move it. That's still a little bit too much, but you see how easy it was. And it's because we've changed these to an object. Now just grab those two nodes and go back the other way. And he was saying he was having trouble making the lines a different color. Well, now you can make them any color you want. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.